So, a bit of a long story, but here's the short version. Uh, I got into a bit of an argument inside the club, got into a bit of a scuffle, bouncers broke his part, threw me out back by myself, let the other person who I got into the scuffle with out the front. Um, I'm walking down the street, now looking for a cab. This person comes around and sucker punches me and, uh, you know, chokes me out until I pass out and beat the shit out of me until I guess a bouncer noticed and got him off me. So anyways, um, as you can see, I have black eye, you know, have some bumps and bruises, nothing too serious. And even though I'm speaking fine, the worst part about it is that my jaw is actually broken. And so, you know, I've only been able to have liquids for uh, the past couple days. And now I need to get my jaw wired shut, which, you know, I've searched and searched and there really is no alternatives. They said they can't do surgery because it's too close to a nerve, which could potentially affect my motor skills. And obviously that sounds terrible. I don't want to risk that. So tomorrow I'm getting my jaw wired shut. So I thought I'd make a little video on what it's like to get your jaw wired shut. They said that I need to do it for about four weeks approximately. Um, so I'm just gonna document, you know, what I'm eating, um, kind of, you know, how much weight I'm losing, um, the progress with my jaw and uh, things like that. So um, other people who need to go through similar experiences, maybe they can watch this video and hopefully it will help them out. So anyways, um, you know, really dreading getting this uh, jaw wired shut tomorrow, but, you know, I don't really have a choice at this point. So um, I guess I'll uh, talk to you guys in a bit after I get it wired shut tomorrow and let you know how it feels. I'm, I'm doing the local anesthetic. I'm not doing the general anesthetic. And so general anesthetic is when they put you out completely and, um, you know, they just knock you out and you wake up. Um, my issue is that I've had that before and I've woke up very ill where I've been puking and if my jaw is going to be wired shut, I don't want to wake up and be puking and am unable to open my mouth. Like that sounds disgusting and horrible. Um, so I'm going to do local anesthetic where they're going to freeze my gums and uh, teeth and whatnot and I'm hoping that it isn't that painful but... First sleep, I actually slept pretty good. Didn't even take any painkillers. Mm -hmm. I already down a couple pounds, but it's because I haven't been eating at all. Uh, Really the past week, so look at these. Right through the gums, right through the fucking gums. If you do this, go to sleep for it. Don't do the local anesthetic. Do the general. Well, I made the mistake of doing local. All right, so this is the first day uh, with my jaw wired shut. Hasn't been terrible. Been pretty hungry. I haven't really been eating solids anyways though. So I stocked up on a bunch of these. Boost and intro. Got a bunch of these. Got some juice. Got some chocolate milk. Some juice. Uh, V8. Unfortunately, you're not supposed to be drinking, because I could definitely use a drink for this shit. Um, and as you can see, I fed some soup. Something got stuck in the, the bands there, so you really got to strain the soup to make sure you get all the spaces out. Um, yeah, not in a ton of pain. Actually, I haven't needed to use any of the painkillers yet. I've been using the anti-inflammatory, so and they seem to have been uh, working pretty good. So, they gave me numerous syringes, but I found out that I can just drink like this. Mm -hmm. 
Why is there still two for me? Day two. Slept okay last night. Step on the scale. One sixty. One sixty. When I first broke my jaw about a week ago, it was one sixty five. I'm already down five pounds. So, and I've only had these on for two days, so. I think I'm gonna get down to close to 150 by the end of it. But I should be able to put the weight back on pretty easily. Alright, so it's day four. Um, rather than just sitting around the house and doing nothing, I decided I'm gonna try and go into the office. I just want to show you one other thing I bought. Uh, I went to the supplement store. I bought this weight gainer. It's a mammoth mess. So this is what bodybuilders take who are bulking, um, but as you can see, in one serving there's about 1200 calories. Um, so four scoops is 320 grams, two scoops is 625 grams. Four scoops is a lot, um, so I'm probably just going to take two scoops, but just one more thing uh, to help me try and maintain my weight. Don't mind the dog. They're pretty big scoops. I usually do about three or two in a bit. And then I just add water, shake it up, and it just tastes like another smoothie. So, just one more thing you can do to, to maintain your weight. So this is my dinner tonight. I took this clam chowder soup. I put it in here. I warmed it up. And then I added some cream to thin it down a bit, and then I strained it into here, into this bowl. So now that it's in the bowl, it's all uh, thinned down, I can just slurp it from the bowl, and I can drink it like that. There's a little flavor, it tastes really good. So today is day 9, day 9 or day 10, and i oh, pretty used to it. No, um, eating still sucks. Oh, uh, there's not a whole lot you can eat. Not a whole lot you can do. Kind of just lays around, watch a lot of TV, read books. Just cause, you know, you're not, you can't really do any activities. You don't want to take any risks or anything, so. Just been taking it easy, so. I'm gonna do my morning weigh-in. One one fifty seven. I started. I broke my jaw. Is about one sixty five. Now, usually I don't give a shit about food commercials, but when your mouth is wired shut and you can't eat, commercials like this make my mouth water. I'm like, fuck! I wish I could eat that so bad right now. But uh, still, got a couple more weeks until actually until I can eat soul food. Uh, it's gonna be about another month until I can eat pizza or anything like that, but fuck That shit pisses me off when I see that <clears throat> Day 13 Step on the scale One fifty five point eight almost down ten pounds um, since I broke my jaw. So, I wonder how much, uh, more weight I'll lose. So I just went to the doctors for my two-week checkup. Said everything looked good, everything's on track, so, uh, in two weeks I should, should be getting, uh, my elastics off. And then, 
a week or two after that, they'll take the actual boilers off. So in two weeks, you can start eating soft food. So I'm really excited for that. So about two weeks in, um, you know, as previously mentioned, I went to the doctor and he said, you know, everything's on pace. Um, and so my family was actually going on vacation and because of my job, I can't really get much work done. Um, a lot of my job entails speaking with clients, talking on the phone, which I can't really do with this. So I said, fuck it, I'm gonna go to Phoenix, Arizona. And I'm here, just taking it easy. So, uh, yeah, pretty fortunate to, to be here. Uh, it's a lot better to be here feeling with uh, a broken jaw than to be in my hometown where it's freezing, fucking cold, and snowing. So if I'm gonna, you know, just take it easy, I'd rather be here. So, um, it kind of sucks because every time I come down here, I, I always eat really good. I really want to go to In-N-Out. Um, but, you know, what can you do? So, the day has finally come, it's been four weeks, and, uh, I'm getting the elastics off today. The, the wires are staying in for another couple weeks, but I'm getting the elastics off today, and I can start eating soft food, so, thank god, I'm really excited to get these off and, uh, finally, uh, begin eating some, some real food again, so, looking forward to it. I officially have the bands off. It feels pretty weird, honestly. Um, like, my muscles are still very tight, and even the side that isn't broken, it hurts to open. Um, I think it's going to take a bit of time for me to get adjusted to this. Anyways, I still have uh, these bars on for another two weeks, just in case um, everything isn't fixed properly and I have to get it shut again which I'm praying doesn't happen because that was fucking horrible. Um, so, yeah, now I can start eating soft foods. It's going to take a bit of time for, uh, you know, my muscles to kind of wake up. But jaw feels pretty good. Still feels a bit tender where it's broken here, but... So, 1.52, which... Um means I lost about a total of 13 pounds, started at 165, down to 152. And I'll still probably continue to lose a bit more weight because I'm on soft foods now. Um, so I'm still going to be eating soups and kind of applesauce and stuff like that for the next couple of weeks. Still going to be a while before I can really, you know, start eating some good solid food. So the time has finally come to get these bars off, hopefully. Going to the doctors this afternoon, they're gonna take a look at uh, my jaw. Jaw doesn't feel 100%, feels pretty good though. I think it's definitely improved since I, I got it unwired, so. Anyways, uh, going there this afternoon, I'm sure they'll take another x-ray. Hopefully everything looks good, and um, hopefully I get these bars off and and finally move on because honestly even having these bars in they're fucking annoying like they're always poking at my gums food's always getting caught in them and you know it looks like I have braces or something so um, here's hoping I'll, I'll let you guys know after I go see the doctor it's off my face is still frozen so I can't really move it right now but they're off it's kind of weird they didn't even take an x-ray they literally just got me in there froze my mouth and uh took the the wires off so thank god that's what we're with um they did take an x-ray after so <laughs> if uh something's wrong i guess i'll hear from them after but it's kind of hard to talk right now with my mouth frozen 
So I officially have the wires off my gums and um, you know I'm not 100% but my jaw feels pretty good. I'm eating, uh, been able to eat most, most foods. I actually went to a steakhouse last night um, celebrating my dad's retirement but um, I didn't get the steak but I had prime rib and um, it actually it went down pretty well you know I just cut it small enough and um, try not to eat anything too tough right now but you know that just shows kind of the progression that I've made that I'm able to eat you know some tougher meat right now so um, yeah overall not a fun situation wouldn't suggest it if this is something that you need to go through um, you know it sucks but it's not the worst thing in the world um, unfortunately uh, you just kind of got to suck it up like when when they told me that I had to get my jaw wired shut I was looking online to see if there was any alternative ways to do things you know I thought maybe I could just try and keep my jaw shut um, but honestly I don't think that would have been a good decision um, y your jaw is obviously a very important bone and uh, you want to make sure that you take care of it so yeah you know like the month or month and a half is gonna suck but I mean you got to do what you got to do in order for it to heal properly so um, yeah I mean when they told me that I had to get it wired shut they gave me two options basically they said that uh, I could have a local anesthetic or a general anesthetic to get the bars put into my gum and so the local anesthetic is when you stay awake and they just freeze your mouth the general anesthetic is when they put you to sleep and so I didn't want to do the general anesthetic because I got general anesthetic when I got my molars removed and I woke up and I was puking and so I thought well if my jaw is gonna be wired shut I can't open my mouth I don't want to wake up and be having to puke when I can't open my mouth so I chose to do the local anesthetic um, it wasn't great it was a uncomfortable situation it wasn't painful but it's just uncomfortable you know you're watching uh, the doctor operate on you they freeze you so they put these big needles into your gums and so you know even seeing that's a bit intimidating I was just trying to keep my eyes shut but you know they do that then your entire mouth goes numb which is a bit of a weird sensation um, and then yeah they, they just start going to town and yeah putting these bars kind of in and out of your teeth um, which sounds pretty gross and I mean it is but surprisingly it didn't hurt and I was worried that once you know the freezing wore off that I was gonna be in a lot of pain but thankfully you know I really wasn't like they gave me a lot of painkillers they gave me some liquid coating because obviously I can't uh, swallow pill so they gave me liquid coating um, as a painkiller but honestly I I really didn't even need it um, I had a little bit just because I wanted to take some liquid coating but honestly like I wasn't in pain I slept well the first night and just to backtrack a bit the the procedure to put them on took about 45 minutes so you know you're just kind of sitting there my hands were sweating obviously uncomfortable situation but took about 45 minutes so um, yeah getting them on you know it sucks um, but you know once they're on I wasn't really in pain so um, then once you know they were on the next kind of month sucked because I couldn't eat especially you know for my job I need to talk a lot I need to be on the phone a lot which I wasn't able to do um, obviously when my jaw was wired shut um, so you know it was detrimental in that respect uh, but you know eating wise it also sucked, um, but I just ate a lot of soups. Uh, I obviously went for more of like the creamier soups, like the the clam chowder soup or the the cream of broccoli soup, things like that, um, just because they were a bit more filling. Um, do that, I'd get a lot of boosts, a lot of insures. And by the way, um, one thing to note is I would put everything at room temperature. So like usually I like to obviously have juices and stuff cold but because you're sucking everything through your teeth uh, I mean I personally have sensitive teeth so um, I ended up having to you know just leave everything out uh, because I wanted to be at room temperature so it wasn't um, you know painful when I when I sipped it back so um, yeah keep everything at room temperature obviously soup doesn't matter if it's warm but I just don't want things to be cold so um, you know lots of soups make sure you blend it make sure you strain it and um, 
Wait, let me sh show the strainer. Get yourself one of these strainers, these very fine strainers, because you know, at first I was using kind of the, the strainers with the larger hole, something I would use to strain pasta, and there would just be way too big of pieces that would get stuck in my teeth, and it was just, you know, it's frustrating getting shit stuck in your teeth all the time. So make sure to get one of these. Um, you know, I bought a three pack, and there's obviously ones that were bigger than this one, but yeah, make sure you get a fine strainer. Um, make sure you keep your teeth nice and clean. Obviously, it, things are gonna get messy in there. It's gonna get gross. Your breath is gonna stink. It didn't matter what I did to my teeth. My breath smelled like shit for the entire month. So make sure you brush your teeth. Make sure you use mouthwash. Make sure you get, uh, I got these little brushes that I was able to use to kind of poke food out of and, and whatnot. I'm gonna upload a separate video um, that explains how to brush your teeth when your jaw is wired shut. So um, if that's of interest to you, go check it out. So, um, you know, but after the month um, of not eating, you know, um, it, it wasn't so bad. Once they unwired it, they took the elastics off. Um, it was, you know, significantly better because I was able to communicate properly. I was able to talk and I was able to uh, eat again, most importantly. So I was able to put some weight back on and, um, you know, I, I was supposed to eat kind of softer foods, but I think my jaw felt good enough. I started eating solids a bit sooner than I should have. Um, but that being said, you know, I'm okay right now. So um, I think it's all up to yourself and how you feel. Obviously, you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to screw anything up. But um, yeah, it's it was significantly better, obviously, once I got uh, my jaw unwired. So, um, and then once I, I got the actual, um, metal bars off. Um, again, I had the option of staying awake and then freezing the mouth or me going to sleep. And the doctor told me that most people go to sleep to get it put on and then stay awake. He said that, um, you know, I was a bit of a unique case where I actually stayed awake to get them put on. So he said if it wasn't that uncomfortable for me, even though it was, but I decided to, I, I would just stay awake for the removal, and honestly, the removal was way less painless. Um, getting them removed, it was a lot faster. It's about 15 minutes. Again, they freeze it. It's a bit of a weird sensation. Uh, obviously, getting big needles poked into your gums isn't fun, but um, you didn't feel anything. It wasn't painful at all, and um, it, it was much faster getting them off than having them put on. So one thing I should add is that when I went on vacation and my jaw was wired shut, I asked my doctor if I can drink alcohol, and he said definitely not. And to be honest, I didn't uh, really follow up as to why he said definitely not. Um, but I think it might have something to do with the fact that you have no solids in your stomach and you could get drunk really easily and be puking and your jaw is wired shut, which could be very dangerous. And I, also I think it kind of um, slows the progression of the healing as well. So he said not to drink. However, I still had a few drinks because honestly, I was on vacation with my family. We were going to out to eat. Obviously, I couldn't eat. And I was like, okay, well, fuck it. If I can't eat, I'm gonna have some drinks. So I had a couple of drinks and I don't think it really affected anything too bad. Um, you know, when I tried to do some research online, basically any Google search said not to drink while your jaw is broken. Again, there wasn't much of uh, an explanation as to why you shouldn't. Um, obviously, if you're still on medication or things in that regard, then yeah, of course you shouldn't. Um, but this was, you know, past the time I was on any medication or anything like that. Um, so uh, I figured as long as I, you know, was careful about my drinking, then it wouldn't be too big of an issue. And it was kind of fun because I had no solids in my stomach, so I could have one beer and I'd, I'd be tipsy. So. Um, but obviously that's kind of why it's a bit dangerous is because you don't have any solid foods in your stomach, probably haven't drank in a while, so you gotta be careful because I'm sure your you know, tolerance is gonna be very low if you do drink while your jaw is wired shut. Um, so yeah, I mean, that was my experience. Not fun, like I said, it was shitty, but um, you know, I'm glad I did it because you know, I was seriously contemplating not doing it and just trying to keep my jaw shut myself. And I think things would have turned out much worse if, had I done that. 
and probably created more problems for myself long term. So, you know, it sucked, but um, it's over with now and I feel good. And um, yeah, if you have any questions about it, please let me know in the comments section below. Um, I know when I was thinking about getting it done, I had a lot of questions. So um, I was looking online and honestly, I wasn't able to find a lot of the answers that I was hoping for. So if you have questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'd be happy to answer them. Um, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is actually more of a hip hop related YouTube channel, but hey, if you uh, got a broken jaw and also enjoy hip hop, uh, then maybe my channel's your thing. All right, thanks a lot for watching, guys.